Well, Jane Ace got her new checking account started after some difficulty and now manages her household budget entirely by check. Although her first batch of checks all came back, it was discovered that that was Mr. Ace's fault because the check he gave her to start the account with was not made out on the right bank. But it's all straightened out now, and our scene is early evening. Mr. Race has just come home to dinner, and is met in the living room by Jane, who is terribly excited over something. Listen. Well, wait till you hear what happened today. Just wait till I tell well, you Jane, about it. do you this. mind if I get out of my clothes and make myself comfortable I first? I can't but... wait. I've got to tell you now, right away. But I'm hungry. How about after dinner? Dear, will you please not upset me any more than I am now? Look at me. I'm shaking like a thief. I have to tell you right now. Yeah, you are excited. What is it, Jane? Oh, what a day. What a day. Well, take it easy. What's up? Well, sit down, dear, and listen to what happened to me out of a clean sky. Well, what on earth? Good... Well, about half past one, I was... I was all dressed and ready to go to the bank, like I told you. That's why I wanted you to leave the car here today so I could drive down Well, did something happen to the car? Uh, no, stop jumping at convulsions. I'm trying to tell you. Well, can't you get to the point and leave out the details? What? I have to tell you everything so you'll understand it wasn't my fault. What wasn't your fault? Well, I left here about half past one, and I got to the bank exactly five minutes after two to put in the $25 allowance you gave me and the $10 room rent Marge gives me. Yes. Well, I thought that would take almost all afternoon. To make a deposit of $35? Well, I didn't know. I never did it before. Well, you can imagine how surprised I was when I was all finished by ten minutes after two. All finished by ten minutes after two? Yes, I was just as surprised as you sound right now. I thought maybe the clock stopped. So I asked the man there if the clock... Wait a minute. Is all this necessary? I want to know just what... I'm coming to it. Well, I found out it was only ten minutes after two, and I was all through. Well, I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to go home because I just came from there. And besides, I just parked the car for 25 cents and I wanted to get my money's worth. So I just started walking down the street. Walking where? That's just it. Nowhere. Just killing the time away. Window shopping? Window shopping? We don't need any windows. What are you talking Well, about? I'm sorry I said that. What did you do? Well, I... I walked down towards 15th Street. And there, all of a sudden, I saw the Palace Theater. So I said to myself, should I go in and see this picture? It was Joyce Blaine and Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After. Yes, that's the name of her newest picture. Joyce Blaine. Yes, yes. and you know she's always been one of my favorites. Mm. And I was just asking myself if I could go in and see it when all of a sudden I saw a sign that she was making a personal appearance. Well, then I answered myself. I said, I sure am going in to see Joyce Blaine in person. And then I said to myself, I wonder if I'm in time. So I said, well, i better ask the doorman. Well, I'm glad you finally decided to talk to somebody beside yourself. Oh, I enjoy it. Yes, but will you please get to the point? What happened? I asked the doorman. I said, how long has this picture been on? And he said, since Friday. Well, I knew He said the picture has been on since Friday. Yes, well, I knew I was in time. Oh, how'd you figure that out? Well, today is Tuesday, Sally. That part was very easy. Oh, I... Well, I went in and saw the picture, and I never enjoyed myself more. I used up two handkerchiefs crying. It ends so sad. Happily ever after ends so sad? Yes, where she dies while he's holding her in his arms. Because all the time she was alive, he never even kissed her. But now that it was too late, he realized what a fool he was in letting her money stand in the way of not divorcing his wife. Because she would have given his wife all the money she wanted if she would only divorce him so she could marry him. That's a little ambiguous. Oh, he would have divorced his other wife. That's not ambiguous. Ambiguous is when you have two wives at the same time. Ambiguous is having two wives at the same time. What's all this leading to? Well, after the picture, the lights went up. Well, everybody was crying. I could see that. But it didn't help. None of you could get your money back. Is that it? That's one. What money? What happened? The lights went up. Well, don't keep interrupting me. Uh, The lights went up, and then she came out. Well, I never got such a shock in my life. Yeah, they're all disappointing when you see them in person. No, I mean, she came out, and just before that, she had died. In the picture, I mean. Oh, you mean you were shocked to see the... Yes. Well, she was the sweetest thing. She made a little speech and threw kisses out to the audience. And, well, she was just lovely. Yes, well... Oh, well, after the light went down again and she went out, I got up and decided it's time I better go home. And it was time I better go home. It was almost 5 o'clock. So I went over and got in the car and started driving home. Well, you know 15th Street, don't you? Well, just to say hello to, that's all. Well, you know where you have to turn to come out this way? Well, you have to pass the Palace Theater again, only from the back. Well, when I got there, you should have seen the crowd. And almost all women... At first, I thought it was a fire. 
So I said to myself, I better get out of here. And just as I was about to try to back Don't up... Don't tell me there was an accident. No. Will you please wait? Well, you're wait. dragging this thing out until I can... Well, just stop. hold your horse, dear. I'm coming to it. But just as I was saying to myself, I better get out of here, the whole crowd started coming across the street to where I was in the car. And then all of a sudden, I saw Joyce Blaine. You saw her again? You were seeing things. No, she was coming out of the theater, and all these people were trying to get her autograph, I guess. Well, they kept pushing and pulling, and finally she broke away from them and right up, ran right up to our car. She touched it. Oh, lucky car. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what do you think happened then? She pulled the door, door open and got in. Got into the car with you? Yes, and she said, step on it and let's get out of here. She said, step on it, to you? Yes. Well, I was so excited. Imagine, Joyce Blaine in our car and talking to me in person, sitting close enough to me to say boo. Did she? Did she what? Say boo. No, she said, step on it. Well, I was so excited, I said, step on what? And she said, the gas. Well, there was such a crowd around the car, I wasn't going to get out and step on the gas, even for her. You weren't going to get out of the car? No, so in my excitement, I just started the car and we drove away. You and Joyce Blaine drove... Yes, just the two of us in our car. I was down flattered. I couldn't think of a thing to say. But you're certainly making up for it now. Now, so you took her to her hotel, and now... To her hotel? <laughs> That's what you think. Well, where did you take her? Well, if you think I'm excited, wait till you hear this. What? I brought her here. Here? Yes, here. She's lying down in Marge's room. Say, you mean to say you brought Joyce Blaine out Not here? so loud, you'll wake her up. But why, why, why on earth did you decide to bring her here? She asked me to. She said she just had to get away from everything. She couldn't stand it anymore. She needs to rest. And she can't stand crowds. She wants quiet. She said I had to take her home with me. And I said, home? And she said, yes, home. And I said, well, our home is just a bungalow. Why, we haven't even got a swimming pool. And she said, well, that's just what she wants. And when she walked in here, she said it was heaven. This place is heaven. That's what she said. And I said, oh, it's nothing really. And I said, if I'd have known you were coming, I'd have fixed it up, like with a swimming pool. Oh, or some little thing like that. Yes, you know what they're used to in Hollywood. Well, what is she going to do here? I mean, she's got to get going, hasn't she? That's just it. She's not going anywhere. She's going to stay here. Stay here for the night? For a lot of nights. What? She said this is heaven, and she can't go back to all those crowds and to all those people making her write autographs, and she What's won't. going on here? You've got this wrong. A big movie star like Joy Flane, she can't drop out of the picture like that. They'll be looking for her. Oh, there's Marge. Oh, won't she be surprised? Yeah, she'll be surprised, all right, about somebody taking her room. Oh, I'm going to arrange that. I told her about Marge staying here with us, and she won't mind having Marge with us. What? Oh, then. Well, wait till you hear what happened today. Well, what? Some more checks come back here? Well, something came here, but it wasn't checked. What do you think we've let ourselves in for now? What? What are you doing? Well, really? Mars, it all happened this afternoon. It was five minutes after two when I got to the oh, bank. Oh, no, you're not going through all that again. Well, I want to tell her everything I'll happened. tell her briefly. As near as I can make it out, Jane was downtown today and dropped into a picture show where Joyce Blaine was making a personal appearance. After the show, she passed the theater in our car, and there was this Blaine girl surrounded by a bunch of autograph hounds uh, about to tear it to pieces when Joyce Blaine jumped into our car and has Jane drive her out here. Here? You mean Joyce? Yeah, she's here. She's asleep now, but she's here. And for what Jane tells me, she's going to stay on here. She thinks uh, this is heaven. Hell, Joyce Bl Now, listen, wait a minute. Is somebody kidding me? No. Jane, is this on the level, this fantastic story? James. Well, if he didn't spoil that story, I never in all my life heard anybody well, say anything Well, I told it so... quickly and to the point. I didn't go through that dialogue you had with yourself. Well, at least when I told oh. it. Oh, will you stop bickering? I didn't bick. Oh, what's going on here? Is there or is there not a movie actress in this house? Yes, Joyce Blaine. Didn't you just hear but it? this is so startling. When and how? I just told you. You see, when you told it, nobody can understand oh. it. Well, I can understand it, but I can hardly believe it. What you doing here? He's lying down. I'm sleeping. Now, don't make so much noise. But how long is she going to stay here? Doesn't she have to go back to the theater or to Hollywood? Or... I was just asking that when you came in. What did you mean, Jane, when you said she won't go back? She just won't. She called up and told him she wouldn't. Called up who? I don't know. Somebody in Hollywood. Called what? up somebody in Hollywood? On this phone? Yes, on this phone. Talking to Hollywood. Imagine. I could hear her just as plain as if I were right in this room. 
Well, you were in this room, weren't you? No, she said it was private, and would I go out of the room for a few minutes? So I did, but I could hear her just as plain. Jane, you didn't listen. Well, it was so quiet around here, only her talking, and I was sort of standing by that door there. I couldn't help it if I heard. Jane. Oh, I wasn't eavesdropping, if that's what you mean. I just couldn't she help it. She called California on this phone. How about the charges? Charges? You mean to say you charge a person like Joyce Blaine to use our phone? But California, I mean... But what did California say? Is it all right for her to stay here this way? Oh, she didn't tell him she was here. She just said she's hiding somewhere and not to try to find her or she would never come back. She said she just had to have a rest and peace and quiet and she found heaven right here in our home. Heaven? Yeah, that's just what she said. She says it's so cute. She says it's haven. Haven? Yes, isn't it cute? Oh, yeah. She's going to make a haven out of this place? Well, Mama, you'll wake her up. I told her she could sleep till dinner time. Well, it's dinner time now. Let's get her up. I want to talk to her. Oh, no, it isn't. It's a long time till dinner. A long time? I'm starved, Jane. Me too. What is this a long time till dinner? It's half past six. Well, dinner isn't till eleven. Eleven? Eleven o'clock for dinner? What kind of talk is that? Well, she never has dinner in Hollywood till eight o'clock. Well, 8 o'clock, that's a little more like it. Well, there's three hours difference in time between here and Hollywood, isn't there? Three, oh, <laughs> isn't that? Well, that right. would be 11 o'clock our time and not a minute before. <laughs> well, the sudden personal appearance of a big movie star in the Aces bungalow is going to upset the lives of our friends no end. We can see that. We got a close-up of Joyce Blaine when next we meet the Easy Aces. <laughs> 